Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be talking about the new anti-pigment Nivea sunscreen. And I've seen you guys liking my Nivea videos and a lot of you guys actually asked in the comment section if I could do Nivea sunscreen reviews. And here I am doing the Nivea sunscreen review for you guys. Embrace yourselves, more Nivea reviews are coming. Anyways, the first one in line is this Nivea anti-pigment sunscreen. This one is actually brand new. So as always, let's start with the claims. This one is lightweight. It protects from both UVA and UVB rays. It's SPF 50 and broad spectrum, which means that UVA protection is one third of the claimed UVB protection, and that is SPF 50. It does not protect you from the long UVA rays. So that's a little con right there, but yeah. And this one claims to protect against dark spots and actually reduces the dark spots in four weeks. Moving on to ingredients. Now this has decent UV filters. I have them listed here. Okay, it has avobenzin, that is a UVA filter. Great UVA filter, not that photostable though. Then we have UNLT 150, Tinosorb S and Sulazole. Those are all decent UV filters. The problem here is that you don't get superior UVA protection like you would with some other sunscreens on the market like Letters Pro Se or Korean sunscreens all have a superior UVA protection. And Letters Pro Se, for example, has the L'Oreal Group exclusive agents like Mixoral XL, Mixoral SX. Those have very superior UVA protection and photostable UVA protection, which is really important if you ask me because UV rays are causing the photo damage or causing the photo aging and dark spots importantly so it is important to have good uva protection in the sunscreen i'm just yeah, I have to emphasize that. Anyways, the important ingredient that I have to mention here is this one, iso, wait, let me try to read it, isobutylamidol, triazolyl, resorcinol, never mind, I will put it right here, I don't know how to pronounce it properly in English, but this is the so-called tiamidol. Sound familiar? Yes, this is the same ingredient used in Eucerin's anti-pigment serum that I have already reviewed. I actually have I think three videos on this anti-pigment serum. I will put the whole playlist right here so you can watch it if you're interested. Eucerin and Nivea are of course owned by the same company and that explains the same ingredient. This is actually a patented ingredient and because both Nivea and Eucerin are owned by the same company, that's why they have the same ingredient in their products. Luminous 630 is representing the same active ingredient that is in Eucerin's antipigment serum called Teamadol. That is the same ingredient I checked online. They registered two different names for the same active ingredient for some reason. The name is not important. What is important is that this ingredient actually works. It actually does reduce dark spots. I tested it. You can watch my reviews. I did the before and after photos really does reduce dark spots. It's proven. So based on this ingredient, all claims here are backed up. Okay, moving on to controversial ingredients. We have two controversial ingredients here and those are alcohol and fragrance. Now, if you know me, if you have been watching my channel, then you know that I actually don't mind alcohol. Alcohol is a solvent and penetration enhancer, so it helps with the penetration of some active ingredients to your skin. So I pretty much don't mind alcohol at all, but if you're sensitive, if you know that your skin reacts to alcohol, then be warned. Now, the other controversial ingredient, fragrance, I do mind it a little bit. I have to say the scent on this one is too strong. So I, I have to say that it's not my favorite. If it was pleasant to me, maybe I wouldn't mind it that much, but it is a little bit too strong. And if you have sensitive skin, stay away from this sunscreen. Okay, now let's move on to the demo application and how this sunscreen feels on the skin. So this sunscreen has amazing sensor characteristics. It spreads out easily, leaves no white cast, absorbs quickly, and it is indeed lightweight. It leaves you with a radiant glow, but it's not sticky nor greasy. Five minutes after application, it feels as if you have applied just a regular moisturizer, not a sunscreen. It just completely absorbs and it is indeed lightweight. The finish actually reminds me of Korean sunscreens because those are the sunscreens with the best 
sensor characteristics that I have tried so far and they they leave your skin looking as if you just applied a regular lightweight moisturizer no sticky greasy finish the finish on this sunscreen reminds me a lot of Korean sunscreens okay let's see how this sunscreen layers I actually have absolutely no problems with layering this sunscreen it's not peeling it's not balling up the second layer looked even better than the first layer it just gave me a little bit more glow but after a while it completely absorbed and my skin still was left feeling as if I just applied the like regular lightweight moisturizer not sticky not greasy not heavy very good I really love how it layers as well now let's see the makeup application. Again, I had no problems with makeup application. Foundation looked flawless on top of this sunscreen. So this is as well a good makeup base. Okay, now let me give you my final verdict on this sunscreen. Here are the things that I love about this sunscreen. I love that it's lightweight. I love the sensor characteristics. I love that it leaves no white cast and it gives you an amazing glowy radiant finish. And I love that it has tiamidol because tiamidol is really an effective ingredient in reducing dark spots. Now, I don't know if this sunscreen exactly will reduce dark spots in only four weeks. Yes, that is a claim. I cannot test it here because I moved to Germany and I don't live in the same country as my mom anymore. And if you watched my Eucerin anti-pigment reviews, then you know that she was my guinea pig in all of my videos because she has dark spots on her face. The before and after photos I was doing on her face. So I cannot test it right here. I cannot say for sure that it will reduce dark spots in four weeks. But what I do know is that the ingredient that is included in the ingredient list actually is efficient in reducing dark spots. Okay, another thing that I have to mention is that Eucerin's anti-pigment serum can be applied up to four times a day. Now this sunscreen of course has no limitations on how many times daily you should be applying it. So that this tells me that of course it has a lower concentration than the anti-pigment serum and of course the anti-pigment serum is going to be more effective than the sunscreen in reducing dark spots. So even though I really, really want to recommend this sunscreen because of the sensor characteristics, the fact that this sunscreen targets dark spots and reduction of dark spots, but then again, at the same time, is not providing you with a superior UVA protection that actually caused those dark spots in the first place is a no for me. Yep, you heard it. Yeah. If you really want to protect yourself from dark spots, if you really want to protect your skin from photo aging, you need to have superior UVA protection in your sunscreen. This sunscreen has UVA protection. You do get some UVA protection, but it does not protect against long UVA rays like some other sunscreens in the same price range do. Other sunscreens, for example, in the same price range that do provide protection against long UVA rays are, for example, Garnier sunscreens. I think all Garnier sunscreens provide you with protection against long UVA rays. Now, if you want to go a step further, La Roche-Posay sunscreens all have actually superior UVA protection and they even have a uh, separated UVA rating and very good UVA filters. Of course, the mixorals are included in La Roche-Posay sunscreens as well. So in case you are struggling with dark spots, this is what I would recommend recommend. So I think that instead of just getting this sunscreen to treat those dark spots and fight the new ones, you know, protect from new ones appearing, I would say the best thing would be to first of all invest in a serum that actually works. Get the anti-pigment serum by Eucerin and that will for sure reduce the dark spots. Now the second thing that you need to do is to actually protect your skin from the UVA rays to prevent the new dark spots from appearing. Now you need to do that by getting a sunscreen that has superior UVA protection. My first recommendation would be Garnier Anti-Age Super UV SPF 50 something sunscreen. I already have a review on that one. You can watch it right here. That one protects against long UVA rays and it's also SPF 50 broad spectrum and it has mixorals that uh, give you a very good UVA protection that I already mentioned because Garnier is also owned by L'Oreal. So that's why they also have mixorals. So that would be my first recommendation. Get the Garnier sunscreens because they are the same price 
price range. Or you can even get La Roche Posay sunscreens and still stay on a budget because you can get a large packaging face and body sunscreen and use it all year round. You get 200 milliliters or 300 milliliters in the large packaging and you can use it like a whole year or at least a couple of months if you do it properly and you apply the amount of sunscreen that is recommended of course so that's what i would uh, recommend if you're not sure if this hack with the large packagings would work for you you can watch for example this video right here i will list it right here the only thing that i think you will need to sacrifice is the sensor characteristics because those face and body sunscreens of course don't have the same sensor characteristics as specialized base sunscreens so that's the only thing that you need to um, sacrifice and there you have it i really really wanted to recommend this sunscreen because sensor characteristics are so good i want to cry but yeah it is what it is i have to be honest here with you guys let me know what do you think have you used the sunscreens what is your opinion have you had results after using this sunscreen i would love to know you can leave a comment down below and of course thank you so much for watching don't forget to click the thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video it really helps a lot with supporting the channel and helping the channel grow and yeah thank you so much for watching one more time i love you and see you guys in the next video bye